What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the From The Yard Nation back at it again with another video with Dr. Tony Huge. You can guess it, it's another enhanced question series with today's question. How to stack Rat 140, Rage Balloon and S4 Winivar and what would be the best dosage as in anabolic and endogenic effects and the properties of the cycle. So white boy, stacking the Winovar, which is the injectable nano version of S4, and Rage Balloon, which is the injectable nano version of Rad 140. Here's my input and opinion. The S4, the Winovar, uh, it's awesome. It's one of the earlier SARMs people found they got really strong and really shredded on it. It sort of seemed more androgenic in its effects as far as if you compare it to steroids, the more androgenic steroids seem more comparable. People used to use it to prepare for uh, bodybuilding competitions. So a lot of competitors have actually gone from natty to successful, successfully winning things like physique competitions and lower level body competitions, bodybuilding competitions on just S4. The problem with S4 is the higher you go in dosage, the more effective it is, but the more vision side effects you get, which is a really annoying side effect. Now it's not necessarily t permanent. Actually, I've never heard of a situation of S4 vision side effects becoming permanent, but it's annoying because while you're on it, things get blurry. Your night vision sucks. It's harder to read signs. It's harder to read and focus your eyes up close. And for that reason, I like using lower dosages of the S4 or the Winovar. Um, let's just say 50 milligrams of, of either the injectable or the or the the oral. I mean, even though the injectable is going to be more much more potent. Now the Rage Balloon can go really high in dosage without experiencing any side effects, other than a little bit more aggression and a little bit more energy. So we go lower on the the S4, we go higher on the Rage Balloon, higher on the Rad 140. Um, but then again, like the Rage Balloon's way more potent than the Winovar. So 50 milligrams of Rage Balloon's like a really high dosage, whereas 50 milligrams of S4 Winovar is actually fairly low dosage. Always content all the time. <laughs> we never stop. All right, because I recently ordered some Winivar and Rage Balloon myself. So that was it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching again. Shout out to Tony Huge and Crack Elias right there. Um, if you liked the video, please subscribe. Go out to my Instagram and drop a follow right there. Um, and that was it. So like I said, you know what I'm saying? Time to get massive, guys.